Hello guys, this video shows how you can quickly insert pipes into your models. Now, I won't be showing you how you can use uh, the path to form modifier. I'll just be showing you some basic spline work and how you can just kind of get them where you need to go. This is some Destiny 2 armor by Brian Spencer. Link is in the description. I've got this set up in pure ref. And so I've just got this little basic thing here. So the first thing we need to know is that if we simply select some edges here, so let's say for example, I hold down shift, I left click, left click. You can now click on create shape to create a spline right out of there. We can then kind of select that and here it is. Afterwards, we go into rendering, enable in viewport. Here we can change the thickness, the size, the angle. The angle will take effect more if we have, for example, you know, four sides, now the angle will matter much more. Whereas if we have lots of sides, it won't really be that noticeable. All right. And it's especially noticeable if you have just three sides. But a very nice thing about this is that you can very easily use rectangular as well. And so if you're making different types of straps or cords, then you can increase and get that right there. Also angle matters more here. We also have aspect, which kind of does that. All right. And we have auto smooth, which is kind of automatically smooths up. Twist correction, cap. A lot of times I don't really want to cap there, especially if we're dealing with the radial. Well, if you have a cap there, you're going to get an end gun there. So what I like to do is turn the cap off and then just kind of bridge like that. Or if the end is not visible, we can just leave it like that because if we do have an end gone here, when we smooth this, we're gonna get this kind of awkward result right here. And it may be visible that this is happening, but if you just not have that, it just ends nice and sharp here, which you may want many situations where the end is not visible. All right, so we've got that. We also do have a quad cap option right here. So we can also use that. We can, for example, increase the sides. It does work pretty well, but it does give us these kind of triangles in the center. So many times I would just not even have a cap there. All right, guys, so that is the basics, but another way we can create splines on our objects is to right click on the snap settings, activate face snapping, press S to activate snapping and then simply start creating your spline on any kind of surface. And so what's great about this is that if you have multiple objects as well, you can very easily create splines in between them. Another method we have for creating splines is we go into freeform. So let's say we select this object and here we have splines. So we're gonna switch from grid to surface, pick this as a surface, perhaps I'll turn off snaps, increase this, and we can draw splines on this surface. Right click to exit out of that, and then you can select newly created spline. As you can see, it's very dense here. So what we can do is that we go into poly draw and we can change the minimum distance to let's say 55. So now when we use splines, it's going to wait longer to create the vertex. So if we now, if we compare, if we compare these, look at how often we see a vertex here versus how often we see a vertex here. So this is much more controlled. But if this is way too much, remember you can always use normalized spline to simplify it or make it more complex. All right, guys, so that is three methods, selecting edges, creating a spline using face snaps, and also just creating a spline using the spline store under freeform. All right, so let's do that. Let's use that to create some details. So for example, I'm going to just uh, double click here, double click there, double click here, and we're going to create a shape. So we have smooth and linear. So if I choose smooth, I'm gonna get this right here. You can see it's a little bit wobbly here which means I have to go into vertex, kind of select these ones right here and then right click and let's make a corner. And now it fits for the most part, but you can see it doesn't quite fit perfectly here. 
but of course when you subdivide it, they will fit together a lot better. However, if you want a more accurate fit, what you can do is have those edges selected, create shape, but this time use linear. As you can see, that new linear shape is very perfect here. So it very nicely matches. The only problem is that if I try to go in here and let's say I want to smooth this, so I, I would just select this, right click, and then use smooth. You can see it doesn't really smooth. If I use a uh, bezier, the bezier doesn't really uh, doesn't really affect it. So the downside of this is that you can't really change it to smooth, but the upside is that the way I would use this is that you get a very accurate result. So unlike with this spline where it does not match perfectly, this spline matches perfectly. So what I would do is just enable in viewport. I will decrease the size. And so we would just apply it and apply right away. And now we have this perfect spline right here. So it's a very good way to add sorts of details for ornaments and piping like so. All right, let's bring back our reference image right here. So looks like here we first have this kind of extrude area and then kind of pipes going in there. So let's replicate that. All right, I've got something like that and I'm going to just inset and bevel in. All right, we now have a place to put in some pipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turbo smooth this. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the creation method. So I'm gonna press shift one, that's my hotkey for line, press S for snaps, and let's create, uh, let's create at least three. So guys, if you wanna kind of create the same Pipe over and over again. It's a good idea to have a spline here that you can do that, but that would be a different video using path to form. In this video, let's see what to make unique details every time. So I recommend guys, when you're modeling something, designing something, use a combination of unique things that you're creating for the first time, as well as kind of like a piece you can reinsert over and over again. Obviously when you insert pieces, it saves time, but it also makes your designs very predictable and people looking at your designs will notice you're using the same kind of tube and same kind of prop and asset over and over again. So it's a good idea to combine things you've made before and you're reusing to save time and also just brand new assets. So one, two, three, four. Okay, let's right click. One, two, three, four, five. Right click. One, two, three, four, five. Right click. All right. We can now select this one here and we can just kind of attach these here as well. So I don't quite like what's happening here. So we're going to go into interpolation and here we can just kind of bring that down. So interpolation, what it tries to do is it tries to optimize it. It gives you more edges where you need them and simplifies it where you don't need them. So for example, if I select all the vertices and I right click and use corner, it would just give me this. But if I used smooth, it would give me more because it's trying to smooth it out. So in order to get rid of that, you can either right click and make it corner, or you can bring down interpolation just to zero. All right, but we can increase the thickness. We can change the object color and we can just apply, let's say a poly right away. And we kind of, uh, it on the X axis, kind of move it in here, kind of hide it a little bit. And there we go, guys. We can use symmetry. And now we have these kinds of pipes going in here very quickly. All right, right here, we have them kind of being inserted somewhere. So we can create a nice little area where they can be inserted. So for example, say right here, Now we can select, for example, one of these and we can uh, create a shape out of it. We can go ahead and isolate this. Alt X for transparency. We can click on refine to insert some vertices. Now we can begin to move this out. And we can switch this from radio to rectangular.
And just like that, guys, we've got this coming out of here. All right, we can do things like... Have this, and then we can have that go inwards. And then we can insert a loop in the middle. And then we can just kind of deselect all the edges where we don't want that to be. And we can create a shape here. And we can change this back to radial. We can decrease this. And now we have this nice pipe going through here. We can fix up some areas such as uh, right here. Let's actually decrease interpolation. There we go. Now it fits together a lot better. All right, let's create a hole for a pipe to emerge from. Let's say, for example, I select this, I inset, regularize. Now I've got this and I'm going to go ahead and kind of rotate that. All right, so now we have this. And so in order to get that, I'll just click one of these and I'll just click on create shape. Press one right away and now I can begin to move this out in the middle and then I can begin to move this out here and I can use refine to insert additional just make it all a corner and so now I can take this where it needs to go and connect it to something else another thing you can do is for example if if they're either clipping through each other or there's not enough space here you can use the push modifier to kind of push them close together to make them kind of fit together more snugly. And then just kind of uh, adjust the vertices here. And then you'll get them uh, fitting together nice and snug. And we can also adjust the shape of this. You can just be more careful in general, and then you can get this situation where they fit together very nicely here. All right, guys, the next video will show you how you can create some more complex details for your pipes. Here was just the basics, how to insert them, but how to get more fancy with them and create more fancy cool little details like this and little details like that. So thank you for watching and take care.